Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I want to teach you how to zoom in your monitor or in your residual diagrams. In some problems, you want to know the value of a property in a special iteration or in a special interval of your iterations. Or in other problems, you want to know the forces or know the residual of each property that you define your problem and you have a heavy pulse in your property and you don't see the exact value of the property at convergence zone because the pulse uh, changes the because the pulse changes the uh, because the pulse changes the scales of your problem okay we can start now at first uh, another advantage of this method is you can show your monitors out of the fluent program and when you solve the problem as a parametric solution and don't and you don't want to use fluent visually you can show your monitors out of the program and show your console uh, commands in uh, that place or that way. Okay, uh, you can start by update list design point, design point, which is that one I want to update. Go to solution. I want to go to project. Right click on solution. No, what's the problem? Yes, show solution monitoring. We can see residuals if we want to go. Loading mesh and loading motion. Here, the console. Yes, it goes to front. We see that what's happening to console. Go to solving now. The residuals are here. Okay, you can see the results, and if you define another properties like forces, like temperature, and another property that you can define in fluent application, and uh, it shows here, and you see that the residuals are plotted here. Okay, now I want to stop it. This interrupt. I don't want to solve the actual result. Here you can see the console of a form. For example, you can see the continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and drags the I define here. And at each iteration, what's the number of the, the property you want to know it. And here is your plot. And if you scroll up, you can zoom it and by right click, you can zoom to area like this. And this. Okay. And now I want, I define, we're going to drag the force, drag or Z direction. And here I can zoom it. You see that I can zoom my problem. I hope that this wheel is helpful for you and you can use in all of your projects that you want to solve parametric or you want to know the uh, value of your property in each iteration and for example if a solution not converge and you want to know what happened in some iterations and you should know the value of the properties that and you can analyze these properties and make it better if you enjoy please like share and put comments to this video and subscribe our channels. Thank you.